Hello. You know, our verse of the week starts off really well, but then it gets quite scary. It starts off with these words. It's from 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. Wow. But then it says, and we ought to lay down our lives for our sisters and brothers. Oh, oh, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And it got me thinking about courage and bravery and what real courage is and how the really brave person is not someone who's not scared. The really brave person is someone who is really scared, but still does the brave thing. To me, that's what real courage is. And I remember giving an all-age talk once in church on a Sunday morning um, about the bravest man I ever knew. And I'm going to share it again with you now. The bravest man I ever knew was a man called Nawab Masi. Nawab Masi cooked for us when we were living abroad. And I remember one night, I was about eight years old. My sisters were away at boarding. Uh, My dad was away and my mum had invited a few local folks and they were in the sitting room off the hall and they were having a Bible study. And... Uh, Nawab Musi was there and so was a young mum called Hamida who'd brought her wee baby and was staying with us. And anyway, I was in my my bedroom, which was also off the hall, and um, I was reading Treasure Island when suddenly the whole house started to shake. I mean, it was really shaking. And I remember thinking, what's going on? And then suddenly it came to me, earthquake, it's an earthquake. It really is an earthquake. And I can remember running to the door and and trying to open it, but the door had jammed. And and, and I pulled and pulled, and eventually the door flew open. I rushed out into the hall, just as they all came running out of the sitting room, they they swept me up, and they 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 they, we all ran outside. And I can remember, we're all so scared. The house was still shaking. Great big tall trees were swaying dangerously from side to side. And then I can remember hearing Hamida, the young mum, crying out in despair. Oh no, my baby, my baby. Her baby was still asleep in the bedroom. And I can remember we all looked at each other and the horror on each other's faces as we realised the implications of all this. And then I remember hearing the voice of Nawab Masi. And he said, it's okay, Hamida. I'll go. And he did. He went back inside that shaking building. And he came out carrying her wee baby, still fast asleep. Now, was Nawab Masi scared? Of course he was scared. But he didn't let his fears stop him acting in love and 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 that got me thinking about another dark night in a garden called Gethsemane and pondering the question was Jesus scared that night because he knew what was coming well he was human so he must have been scared but that did not stop him acting in love This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Shall we pray? Loving God, may we never ever be in a situation where we are are being asked to lay down our lives for each other for our brothers, for our sisters, for anyone who is in peril. May that never happen, please. But if it ever does, if it ever does, we trust that you will give us the courage and the love to do the brave thing. And we ask this in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Have a good week.